So we are also worried that the vice president is usually just in a press conferences when the president is there sitting. And we, we are also failing to understand his role as a vice president. So we are calling upon uh, His Excellency Nangolombumba to take responsibility and use his office also to be doing something. We only see him sitting at press conferences, blinking his eyes. So we think it's high time now the vice president also gets some sort of role to play. These are people that falls under his ministry and this situation cannot continue for far too long. Then that ministry must be shut down. We cannot have staff that are getting paid every year a lot of money but they are not doing anything. So if there's no budget for the student, the ministry serve no purpose. So we are calling if His Excellency can intervene, the ministry must be shut down. We can perhaps also auction the furniture and many other things that are in that building. Uh, but if they are not taking this call serious, we are going to, to, to occupy that building. Uh, with the students with disabilities who come with their wheelchairs, with the students that are marginalized, we are going to occupy. I think the building is big enough even to practice social distancing. The Division of the Marginalized Communities within the Office of the Vice President has a program to assist marginalized students and since its 12-year existence has assisted the students. Sun has received information that the beneficiaries are receiving their payments at a snail pace and that the program is failing to pay students allowances every month. We have seen in the media that a lot of students from marginalized communities have been dropping out of tertiary school and other related academic uh, institutions. The impact caused by the delay of the monthly allowance to the marginalized students is compromising the future generation and the human capital development of this previously disadvantaged as, 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 at, as, as at stake. Uh, they are talking about empowering people from different backgrounds, but you can clearly see that the young, the, the, the dynamic uh, persons from marginalized community are being compromised, their future is being compromised, that would, that would cause some imbalances in our community. According to Sun, the students do not have accommodation, transport fees, food and basic needs such as toiletries, adding that there are also students on the list that are not from any marginalized community and that the office of the vice presidency is using this to empower their relatives. Uh, trying to assist this marginalized student to, to get dream. Uh, you see the, the funny part of this whole thing. Uh, the government employs someone just from nowhere and sit there in Kenya house in a good aircon, have no concept what is the difference between a himba, a mshimba, uh, and a mutwa. So when you come there and say, no, I am from Ochu, I'm a mshimba. Someone who is from just Ventu, who never even visited Konene, is even telling you that there's no ovakwa or mshimba in that area. So, what, when do they get this type of, of, of information? So there's, there's people implement things not for sake of trying to uplift the standard of living of people. As I alluded already that the government has neglected these people. It's not just the, the students from those particular community. The entire community. When you go and see where these people came from, as or, or Atua or Achimba or San, you can tell that these are people who are highly dis neglected from even social welfare. The Student Union of Namibia is planning on occupying the Kenya House if their demands are not met by the relevant stakeholders. In a telephonic conversation with the Deputy Minister of Marginalized, said that they resolved the situation three days ago at State House and students should just be patient.